What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Terra Luna Classic has a lot to talk about. There's always something that seems to be going on. And right now it involves some wild conspiracies. But during the middle of all of this, we're having a breakout. So uh, it could be that we're finally starting to get some traction with the broader markets. We've had a lot of trade volume coming in. We've got proposals that we've got to deal with. And we've got some interesting developments. I'm going to take you through all of this. If you like this content, make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content. Also, while you're at it, make sure that you're following Luna Classic Lab. You're following uh, Mr. Diamond Hands. Follow Happy Caddy Crypto. Now, these guys are, are giving you all the information that you need every single day. Uh, I'm going to do the best that I can to continue to provide you with content every single day about Luna Classic. But sometimes, you know, I run out of time. Uh, but these guys are dedicated. They are deep into the woods, if you will, on Luna Classic. And they will be able to give you information when I am not. First, we're, we're going to look at a chart. Then we're going to kind of look at the news. We're going to kind of kick this off because Bitcoin's about to hit 50,000 right now. I want to say it's really starting to pump. Uh, so the broader market is getting set for maybe, I think, an altcoin season. Uh, that would include us. That means that you can expect probably a big move happening. I mean, everything seems to be setting itself up for a massive breakout. But let me show you what I'm talking about. So you can see right here, we we had this move. It was this downward uh, facing uh, channel. It broke out, ranged along came back down, bounced off of it, and then started to break back towards the upside here. Uh, gave us that 786 at 11801 after breaking down into the 88 range. And then from here, we've kind of fought this sort of uh, resistance level. And the reason that we fought this resistance level, several reasons, in fact, um, among those were t uh, Terraform Labs uh, filing for bankruptcy. <clears throat> uh, 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 I think his name was uh, Cheng Jun. Hang Cheng Jun, he ended up uh, being extradited from Montenegro into South Korea, uh, where he's facing trial for fraud for $40 million. Uh, and then Duquan was going to be extradited to the United States, and that was stopped by Montenegro as they reconsidered uh, the case over here. And then in the meantime, uh, you had, uh, you know, just random notes. It just a, a little bit of, of problems with the, the, the community, basically because the validators not all of them, but some of these validators are starting to be revealed as bad actors. And you're seeing it play out in real time as they vote against KYC and they're voting against, you know, what they want you to do is they just want to go, trust us. We got your back until they don't, because that's how you get hacked. That's how you lose everything. That's how it happened. It happened every time that way. It happened with Celsius. It happened with three arrows capital. It happens with them all the same way. They're like, man, don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. It's not fine. You need to know who it is that you're dealing with. Transparency is how you do business. You have the right to be anonymous. They don't have the right to be anonymous. They're holding your money. And by the way, I don't need to know who they are. I just need to know that somebody does. That's that's what this is all about. They don't want you to know who they are. Do you know why? Because they're part of Luna and they're trying to tear down Luna Classic. Now, uh, there's a list here of five reasons why the Terra Luna Classic price will hit uh, three zeros two. Uh, we're not looking at that, uh, by the way. There, there, there are some reasons, and, and basically, it's the Binance Lunk burn. It's the Lunk breakout after downtrending trend line, which it, it did have that breakout. Uh, proposals passed by the Terra Classic community, short liquidations, and Lunk staking rises above one trade. There, are, there are genuine and, and and real reasons why we're seeing this kind of uh, reversal of position, and we're seeing it start to break out. So there are real reasons for that, but uh, you know, really, this comes down to a, a lot of different things. Now, there is a proposal here that came up from Luna Classic Labs talking about uh, Lunk Community Web and social media official statement for them to make a. Uh, I invite the Lunk Community to vote on these joint public statements on the Lunk Community to become the basis for communicating our URLs to third parties. There, there should be like an official website. Uh, there should be white paper. Uh, we should have a GitHub. We should have a lot of these different things and we should make them official and they should be out there so that people can see them. Uh, you know, I'm not an official channel. None, none of us are official. So uh, there, there should be something official so that if I'm an investor, I want to look in. I don't have to figure it out randomly and I don't want to be a D-Gen, just random D-Gen play based on somebody like me on YouTube. I want, you know, you should be able to go research everything that you need to know. Uh, so that you can make an informed decision about your investment. So go check that out. If you haven't, that's at the uh, Commonwealth and you're looking for Luna Classic on that. 
Uh, so back to the price action, uh, 11,607, you know, kind of looking for a breakout. What's the range that we're looking for? Well, I'm actually not even looking at the twos right now. I'm looking at the threes as the next big move on the breakout. Now we should see, because there's going to be a little bit, I'm going to move out to the day chart so you can see that a little bit better. Uh, as you move out here, right around 1800, that's where the, your resistance is. Once you get past 1800 though, once you, once you're past this little range of 17 and a half to 1800, the, the the way is clear until you get up here into 25. So uh, three zeros 25. That's you know three zeros two is right here. Like it's not even resistance area. Not really. It's a top over here. Uh, and you could argue uh, that there's a very minimal amount. That's not that's not a big deal. Uh, the big deal over here is getting all the way up here. And look, we're going to three. I think in the very short term, I think we're going to see a, a nice classic move uh, towards the upside. We're building a lot of momentum. Uh, we need an alt. We need an altcoin season. We don't have an altcoin season yet, but when we do, that's when you're going to start to see the big pop. Now on the swap, you have governance proposals out here. Add Certic as a recognized KYC provider. Contributions without KYC. Everybody's starting to fight now. Now all of these guys are trying to figure out how do I stop all this kind of stuff. Uh, so now and they want to hide. Look. Guys, you don't have to make this stuff up, okay? Uh, you can go out here and you can look and see these bad actors doing what can only be described as bad actor stuff here. So just pay attention to what's going on. Uh, volume trading down, uh, market cap up, um, down here. You know, USTC is still struggling. And I keep telling you guys, I just don't see it on USTC's chart. Like, you know, I, I mean, it's moving along with this, but I just don't see anything. And the fact that it's trading at this 786 line tells me that that's a bottom but I don't feel it. Like I feel like there's there's this move that's going to come that we're not going to be ready for for like some downward momentum on USTC. And it's going to happen because somebody's just going to dump right before we get a primal level pump, you know, to a dime or something like that. You know, just something radically different than we've seen so far. Like I think that you know we're we're in the mode for where that thing really starts to break out. So you know that's what we're watching. That's what we're looking at. That's you know I just I don't see it on the chart yet. For USTC now uh, over here, you know it's basically there's there's nothing really um, uh, nothing really out here that's that, that's going crazy. Just making sure that Certic, one of the most trusted names in security for the internet, is out here as a a KYC provider for you, so that you have the security of knowing uh, what it is that, that that's happening here and who you're getting into business with. You know, uh, it, it's very alarming sometimes when you look out here on this landscape and you can't find something that you can trust and you know not for nothing but that is a brand that generally speaking you can trust so um shout out to everybody who, who's trying to do that i think that we should probably vote yes on it because look they don't have to tell you but they should tell somebody again uh and in the meantime make sure you go check out happy caddy crypto has got a real expose thing going on right now um I'm just the technicals guy. Look, we're getting ready to break out. We're going to have a nice little big run. Uh, I, I said nice little big run. Yes, I said that, but uh, we're going to have a nice run. So just get ready for it. And uh, it's not financial advice. My name is Belize Mojo. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you again very, very soon. We have a giant update from cryptonomy.finance, guys. Brand new website, Solana. I'm going to earn 26 Solana for this move right here. About 2600 bucks. $2,600 for my tether over here. Uh, the XRP 2313. Again, these do not unlock for a long period of time. Not going to unlock until November, but uh, I'm going to have 0.99. One extra Ethereum. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at that time. You never know. Worth nothing might be worth a lot. 0.08 Bitcoin I'll have available at that point. 0.037 Bitcoin over here, and then 0.012 Bit. This launch pool. Now I'm locked in until November of 2024. You can see that my accrued interest so far. 57,281.92. Now you might be asking yourself, like, how are you earning this, uh, Blazes? Because I signed up to cryptonomy.finance. I just put the money in. I gave myself a shot, gave it an opportunity. Uh, in the bull run, that's where the money gets made. So I'm going to let this ride for a little while. You let me know what you think.